confrontation on uh, Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch brawl. Um, uh, Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley coming out, basically coming, going back and forth with each other. Um, Rhea Ripley touching the forgotten, like, I guess the unforbidden rule, don't mention Becky Lynch's daughter or her family. Um, getting real testy, getting real personal. Dominic Mysterio taking a clear punch to the chin from Becky Lynch, um, mm-hmm. resulting in the brawl. What do you guys think about this promo um, between these two women? See, that's a brawl. That's <laughs> a brawl. Why can't The Rock just do that? <laughs> um, he did. He landed two suit bones over Cody Rhodes' head. Godzilla. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but see, like for me, them going at each other and actually fighting and like you know brawling, that's what I'm like. It's so simple, just do that. I don't get why we're not just getting more of that. Why are we not getting more just bad blood? Yeah, you can you know talk that talk and you know take shots and you know be creative and stuff, but it's like there should be more like bad blood, especially heat. leading into mania. Heat. Yeah, heat. heat. There should be more <laughs> heat leading into mania where it's just like all right, you know, look, they're being a, the heel right now because of this. They're being the baby face because of this. It's just like, let's get more, not action, but like more like, like, like more heat on them. Like there's animosity. Like there's, they hate each other. They want to rip each other's heads off and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I think, I think it did a good job. You know, he, Rhea is dumb hot right now, you know. And, and like what Becky was saying is true. She's like, you know, I'm over here busting my ass showing what it's, you know, to be a champion. And it's like, do you even wrestle on Raw anymore? And I was like, <laughs> it has been true. It was the last time she yeah. had besides was elimination. It, was it Ivy Nile? You know? it was Ivy no. Nile? Yeah, I think it's it was she? her. No, <laughs> that was like two months ago. <laughs> I work smarter, not harder. <laughs> That's why, yes. Which, which in a way, kind of makes Becky kind of look make Becky look weak in a sense mentally. Because yeah. it's like, no, she's yeah. over here having <laughs> last woman standing matches and you know all these crazy matches. Like, are you really gonna go into WrestleMania after having all these matches? You know, you really think you're gonna be good enough to beat me? You know, which is the story writing itself. You know, and um. You know, it's, it's it is funny as it is. It is a story of like Becky kind of proving that she can still go with the best because Rhea is the best right now. So it's like I don't know. I like the depths of the the, the story is taking, and you know, Rhea being a true heel, bringing up her daughter, which you know, there's a no no. You can't do that. <laughs> people, I mean, hey, remember Samoa Joe and Wendy? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so you know, family and kids I'm, aren't uh, just ever man. really off the table like that. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, um, and I, I was going to address that. Um, so, as far as the promo goes, from Rhea's side, all all pos- all positive, all good, mm-hmm. especially with the points points that she she was making. Um, you know, talking about how she can go, she can go viral, she can post anything on social media, and the fans will just eat it up, which is 100% true. That even whether he'll he'll face it, don't it doesn't matter. Everybody's you know, everybody universally has, has an opinion about Rhea, Rhea, Rhea Ripley. Um, now when Re- now when Becky punched Dom, I like that. Now, when the bar yeah. uh, <laughs> happened, I like that. The only thing that I didn't like, and and you and Louis, you just brought it up when Rhea did mention Becky's daughter, and then Becky then got emotional. I don't know about you guys, but when but whenever Becky is cutting a promo and then she gets she gets emotional and when it's talking about family, I don't know why, but lately it's been it's been coming off as whiny whiny to me. Like it doesn't, like it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like somebody that's that's like that like been through it and you feel sorry and you feel sorry for them and you want them to win more. It comes off, it comes off as somebody somebody who's just who's just bitchy and whiny, and just complain just complaining about the fact that their daughter that their daughter just got just got name dropped because her daughter has been name dropped a couple of a couple of times even before before this. And he's really? every time, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Her daughter has been, has been, has been, has been name dropped. I think, I think Trish may have done it once. Um, I think, um, I think maybe I don't even, I don't even remember off the top of my, top of my head. It has I, been I, mentioned. I, I may have brought it up. Like, yeah, and every time that her daughter gets brought up, brought up, she just comes off, comes off whiny about it within the promo. But that, but that, mm-hmm. but that's 
that's the only thing I, I take from that. But as far as like the basic like you know context context of this, of this feud, uh, it, it is definitely it did definitely do what um, what Rock and Cody. I guess some people are saying they they didn't do as far as the phys- physicality goes. Mm-hmm. But um, I I'm at a point I'm at a point now with this with this feud where it's, where it's just like okay let's just get to the get to the match now because mm-hmm. you, because because you know they 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 have been alluding to this match since. The Royal Rumble when mm-hmm. when uh when uh when Becky said that was Becky said she was she was gonna win the Royal Comforia. They alluded to this at the the, the the goddamn WrestleMania press conference where they made it where they made it clear that Becky Lynch was gonna win an elimination chamber. So mm-hmm. they've been alluding to this feud for like a good three a good three months right now, and I almost feel as though because you kind of already knew it, that it was gonna be these two at WrestleMania that they should have almost treated it like like a like a UFC style build and just did and just did pro, promo packages where maybe where maybe one fun, where maybe one final talking segment on the go home show and just do promo packages leading leading up to the match because because the, because the names already the names already sell it and I know they're kind of telling the story of Becky is Becky is such a fighter that she does that she's not even caring about the title match as much because she wants to actually fight and fight and earn for it where you got Rhea as the smarter champion not not fighting not fighting as much so you already got that you already got that story going but mm-hmm. um, I mean, yeah go ahead, I, I, I feel like I feel like the story does write itself you got the young upcomer who's trying to edge her legacy right like she's already beaten Charlotte right who is considered the goat of women's wrestling she's already beaten all these other women she's on the top of her game right now and she's trying to add another mark to her legacy, another carving into her statue or whatever you want to say. Becky Lynch is still trying to prove that she's over the top. She still, she still has it. Right. So that story writes itself. You got the young, the young, the young upstart versus the, the, the veteran, you should say. And I really like that component of it. I like the part of uh, Rhea getting personal because that's the next step for a heel, right? You got to get personal with the person. Um, mentioning her daughter and stuff like that and, and saying that she's going to beat her in front of her daughter, which would make anybody emotional, which is correctly the response, I think. But the issue with Becky is that once she starts getting a little emotional and starts crying, it gets a little exactly. disjointed a little bit. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like and she kind of starts rambling a little bit, and it's like, okay, that's a negative point. Um but we did need that brawl. <laughs> like we needed that brawl. Like we needed to see Becky like lose a screw loose. Like I already I've overcome so much. I overcome the rumble, the elimination chamber, and now I get here. I overcome Nia Jax, who has been a nemesis for years, who basically led to my uh reign atop WWE, getting punched in the face all those years ago, creating that the man Becky Lynch, that whole persona, creating this reign, getting over, having a child, coming back, continuing that reign. Um, the trials and tribulations. So that's showing her fighting spirit, which I do like of that aspect. Do I like that she's beating the hell out of Nia Jax all the time and getting these wins? No. Because <laughs> I love I love Nia Jax's return on this. I love her uh her 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 ring work. I love her promos, how she's just a bitch. She doesn't care. Um, I love that part about Nia Jax and that feud, and I thought that was a good uh testing point. And now you have Rhea Ripley who defeated her at Elimination Chamber. It's like, okay. And then she came back to still be a thorn in Becky Lynch's side. So it's like, okay, I understand it from that standpoint. And now we get to this promo, which I thought was great <laughs> in terms of Rhea just basically just kind of like putting it in Becky's head. Like, you're wearing down. I'm fresh as a daisy. You're not going to beat me at my best, and you're not yeah. out So I like that whole aspect of that, and that's pretty much the story. Um, Dom getting punched in the face. Dom, <laughs> forever how the crowd... Forever, how the crowd feels about Dominic Mysterio. Kudos to him for just always delivering in any role that he's out there. <laughs> yep, yep. Kudos to him getting punched in the face. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got that brawl, which was impressive. Um, security coming out, holding them back, which I thought was a nice touch, which was interesting because later in the night, the security was nowhere to be found. <laughs> so, <laughs> do it for everyone. It's like, why? <laughs> he, he, he's, the, he's on the board of directors. I'm pretty I sure did. when the security came, he said, he said, fall the fuck back or you guys are fired. Like, fall the fuck back. And you know what's funny? Be- you know what's funny? Rhea played into the into like bringing up Becky's daughter like perfectly because obviously she was like, she was like watch her, like watch me be great and stuff. And it's like, and no, she's sorry, I'm, mommy. Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna call me mommy, and it's like, it's like oh, that's just like beautiful. perfect with what she is right now, you know. And it's just like, 
it's just like the perfect setup. And you know, I I didn't take Becky's as whining. I, t- I think it just took it like you, you know, you don't talk about my kid or I'm gonna rip your head off, you know. I, it just got emo- it got emotional. <laughs> that's yeah, all that's all like you can tell that she was no one wants to hear anybody talk negative about their kids, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. No, look, I agree with that, but I'm just saying that, that when she does get emotional, it, it comes off that way. Obviously, I'm not I'm not saying that she's trying obviously she's not trying to do that, but yeah, I know. It, could be, it could be it could just be the uh could just be uh, just the uh, the language barrier, maybe that that just, that just naturally happens because she's Irish. I don't know, but that's just how it comes off to me. Mm-hmm. It just got a little slurred, but overall, the brawl was nice. I like that the fact they were going yeah. at each other. Um, <laughs> uh, Rhea Ripley laid out Becky Lynch and then went to go check on Dom, and they're leaving, and Becky Lynch jumps off the st- the steps <laughs> to attack her again. So it's like, all right, we're getting those back and forth and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Again, that's what we needed. That's what we've been saying. We needed these people to get physical. We needed these feuds to get physical, and they have been getting physical. So at least we got that. Um, uh, let's wrap it up here with raw notes. Here we got uh, 